entropy, mm. co-evolution, uncertainty and complexity. It's uh, plurality, plurality, so it's methodological diversity, and a single word, wow, that's difficult. Uh, rooted in the natural system, but that's a good term. <laughs> the word sustainability came in the 80s, and before this we would already discuss uh, well, energy and material flow, social metabolism and so on. And we could also discuss the fact that prices in the economy are wrong. They don't take into account the future, they don't take into account pollution. So these are words that one can use without using sustainability. Uh, alternative models and tools to um uh, to better incorporate the social and environmental, um, sorry, the ecological and um, and uh, uh, environmental systems together. I hope that inc incorporates social systems better in future times. Um, I don't know. I'm not very good at asking this, answering this question. <laughs> social metabolism. Uh, I mean, quite extinct. And uh, steady state. Well, uh, sorry, I have to say degrowth, <laughs> biophysical limits, out there well being. Plurality, transdisciplinarity, and social issues. Uh, nature, uh, ecosystems, uh, uh, people. <laughs> well, I think the important thing is to um, change the emphasis in the direction of examining the um, socio-economic and political conditions that would be necessary for the objectives of ecological economics to be achieved. Uh, I think uh, I think it's really warming to see the emphasis on political economy within uh, within this conference, and I think that is because I think if we are going to um, change the way we do things we have to look outside the the mainstream system and so therefore what will those value sets be and how will they um, underpin new um, new models and tools to help policy makers make better decisions so for me two main issues would be is economic growth uh, compatible with uh, environmental uh, sustainability and resilience is uh, the capitalist system can go on without economic growth? This is one question. And the other question is the north-south relations, the issues which we have discussed as uh, ecologically unequal trade and also the ecological debt from north to south because of climate change, but not only because of climate change, also biopiracy, ecologically unequal trade. I think the most important uh, research priority for ecological economics now is to try to find uh, new ways to understand uh, what is happening right now, which is quite unique for the last 40 or 50 years, because we have a combination of economic, ecological and social crises in the West. And the mental frameworks and models that mainstream economics are offering uh, are not adequate for understanding both the causes and the responses this uh, interdependent crisis and I think ecological economics is on a much better position to, to address these questions. Well, for me it's very important that we, we think about the kind of natural and social limits of the planet. So we, that we have to see how we can model, we have, how we can transform, how we can think about transition towards society which is much lighter, which like uses much less material resources and also has other way of interaction which is based on 
which has less dominance of market in in terms of in terms of human relations, which is much less commodified and which more, much more less lighter and yeah, working less as well. Uh, there are many things we have discussed. <clears throat> Sustainability indicator systems, that's an important part of the whole thing, but uh, discussing also persp theoretical perspectives uh, and uh, articulating what is neoclassical economics or what is the alternative, for me these are important. But of course, uh, taking a look at existing business corporations and what they do uh, could do within the scope of the present system is still interesting because you cannot uh, think in terms of a re revolution where you change everything from now to all also the smaller steps are important to make to Trans, to build a bridge, that, that is the word. Uh, the real challenge for research, as I see it, is to build a bridge from the scientific knowledge of ecology and also from economic methods and analysis and build that bridge into society and to policy makers. Because that is really needed, because many of the mainstream economists, when they talk about nature and loss of environment, it sounds as if they talk about money, economics only. We have to sort of reinvent the, the language, the words, the concept that really conveys the urgency of the environmental problems in a language that policymakers can understand and make them wake up. That's really, that encompasses all the research challenge, all the different specific research uh, challenges of ecological economics should take that overarching challenge into account, I think. I think it's important to live with a tension as a researcher between theoretical concepts and ideas and what really matters to people. And how to so to recognize the tension in ourselves but also to um, deal no ways how to overcome this tension because this tension is also there with the people and if we don't if we if we, if we as researchers are not able to deal with this then how can we deal with this in, in society it's a diversity of future directions I couldn't even identify a single direction because we are always attracting uh, different people from different disciplines to ecological economics conferences to widen our horizon. So it's a variety of directions and you couldn't just say today what, what would happen in the future. So I would always be open for that.